Howdy folks, Jake here with the Banjo Bins Middle Eastern Warehouse and Emporium. Oh, no wait, that's a Banjo Bin General Store. Uh, forget about that, that's, that's another thing we're doing. But anyway, I'm just kidding. Uh, Jake here with the Banjo Bin General Store. And what I have for you today is an item almost identical to one that we've shared with you in the past. And uh, that was the Reagan Capo that I'm talking about for the fifth string on your banjo. And we had a limited supply of those. They went out of business and we bought up all that we could. And they sold out within probably an hour or something. Sold out really quick. But what that did was that started up this other company uh, who has started making virtually an identical version of that um, since then. And we've got those back in because we thought our customers, based on the response to the last video, would, would like to have this. And I'll kind of explain how it works. Uh, what it is is just this little block of brass, and it's got a little nylon set screw. And if you've seen the old Reagans from way back in the day, they had a brass screw. Uh, but the idea behind the nylon is that it, it actually it doesn't damage the string or anything like that if you over tighten it. And it stays, it grips better. It doesn't loosen up. So anyway, the way it works is fairly simple. Um, for those of you who don't really entirely understand how capoing a banjo works, first of all, if you capo like on the second fret or the third fret, for example, uh, your fifth string, you notice, remains unaltered. So to adequately compensate the fifth string, uh, you have to have some sort of fifth string capoing device, and that's where this comes in and it's real simple to use. Simply put it on the string down here, slide it up to where you want it to hold the string and you just tighten that little set screw down and then you see your capo uh, compensated with whatever your first position capo is gonna be. And uh, the th there's a few things that make this real handy. One is it's the only capo you need uh, some people like to go with the fifth string spikes. That is professionally the most used capo is the spikes. Uh, but these work great in addition to that because it's not really practical to have spikes every single place on the fretboard. So sometimes, you know, if you're going to be like playing in C sharp or if you, if you capo further up the neck, you typically don't have spikes running all the way up the fingerboard. So if you do do that, it's handy to have one of these little things uh, to be able to, in a pinch, get you through some of those unusual capo positions. Another thing that's nice about this style of capo is it doesn't make the, the fifth string go near as sharp as using a spike does. Uh, it stays pretty close to in tune. And the third thing, which is maybe more of a benefit to old timer claw hammer players, is that uh, as opposed to a spike, this type of capo actually holds the fifth string up off the fingerboard like it would naturally. And so, with your thumb trying to get the thumb under the fifth string if you spike it that moves the fifth string in toward the head it makes it a little harder to grab with the thumb uh, this keeps it up where it's it's easy to get your thumb under it uh, and that that does make a difference too for three fingers but or for three finger style players but much more so for uh, claw hammer players but anyway in a nutshell that's how it works and uh, we've got these on sale I believe for $13.95 it's a, it's a great deal and when you're not using them uh, what I recommend doing is just pulling it off here and you can stick it right on a string up here behind the headstock and tighten that little screw down and it'll just rest right there until you need it. So anyway, a pretty cool, pretty handy little thing. Uh, it does have felt backing on the bottom to keep from skinning your fingerboard up or anything like that. It doesn't do any damage to your instrument. You don't have to alter anything. So. Uh, if you'd like one of those, uh, jump on the site. They're available there. Or give me a call if you want to place the order by phone. Uh, that number is 1-833-226-5623. And we'd be glad to talk at you. Thanks for watching, folks.